um, what's most interesting to me or the things that I respond to the most are things that kind of balance on a razor's edge between future and past or respect for tradition and obliteration of that respect. So I think that that tension point is a place where um, great work happens. Um, there's so much mystique around the art world and that, that claim, if it's art, it's art, that there's no really right or wrong answer. It's a, it's a series of shades of gray uh, in reality. So um, philosophically, for me, I think that there has to be a certain amount of dedication, focus. There's a goal in mind um, when setting out to do something. But of course, that's just my own personal process. It's open to interpretation. Sometimes you have to ignore everything. I think that's kind of, there's, there's so much messaging, so many people you can take advice from. Um, I think you have to have a great filter for the advice that you hear, or sometimes just ignore everything and go with your gut. Uh, interestingly enough, um, a lot of the projects that I do uh, photographically are less about observation probably, and more about creation. Um, it's a lot of the reason why I oftentimes work in the studio, um, because it takes me out of uh, the environment, puts me in a white box. Um, then I can create something according to whatever's in my head. So as opposed to many photographers who are observing and finding something interesting and pulling it out, I'm kind of designing or creating in my head and then photographing that creation. Oftentimes a project might be a response to a different project. It might be a, a response to something you did before either in the same direction because it was successful or in the completely opposite direction. Um, so it's, it's having the kind of mental fortitude and, and uh, perseverance just to keep on going. Part of me wants to describe them not as photographs, and I don't know why. <laughs> Part, because it's so much about it's so much about the process, you know. I think it's always it's funny because I think you know for anyone but myself um, thinking about the images, I think about the process of making them and the steps that went into making them. The photograph is the finished result of that, but it's like some of them I could say are more gestural or, you know, uh, chemical or performance or environmental. So it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird um, dynamic for me because they, they are photographs and that's what leaves the lasting impression, but the act of making them is what impacts me the most. <laughs>